What's up everybody and welcome back to another video today. Um, I'm going to try to get better about posting through the week, but it's just been so busy. And I, again, I think I said in the last video, I spend more of my time studying than trying to make videos, but I do like to make these updates for you. Um, this week, so I have continued on with Babel. Um, I'm almost through the entire first, um, like first, I think there's seven beginner lessons. I'm almost finished through the first one. I'm working on some verb conjugations, which I know... Some of them because of Pimsleur, like I know for Ya ja and I know for Vli, and um, and then I also know some for um, like me, uh, which I don't know that because of Pimsleur. I don't know why I know that one, but it's it's um, like like if we were, it would be Mui, uh, Mui Robotem. So uh, I do know some stuff like that, um, but it's not. It's still not my main source. Anymore. I actually use several different things. I use, I actually bought, uh, or I have the paid version of Memrise. And to me, Memrise works really, really well with the paid version for Russian. And here is why. And I know I've read some stuff on, I have like water in my mustache. That's why I keep doing that. I just got out of the shower and it's like bothering me for some reason. But, um, so the reason that I think it's beneficial for the paid version, and I don't necessarily think it for like Spanish or anything, but here's the thing with Russian. You may know how to say something. For example, Zdrastvutye. Okay, you may know how to say it. If you don't know how to spell it, you get it wrong. With the paid version of Memorize, you have that little thing beside of the check mark, or beside of like submit or check or whatever. It's that little like wand looking thing. If you hit that, it'll start spelling out the word. So it can either jar your memory to help you learn how to spell, or if you know Zdrastvutye, but you don't know how to spell it, which I am getting better with my Russian spelling, but you can hit that and it'll kind of fill in the word. That way you don't miss the word. Um, because I was missing a ton of stuff and I was like, but I know that that's it. Like, cause there's so many times when an A is an A, but then there's also so many times that an O makes an A sound like Rabotut, Rabot, Rabot, right? Or Rabot, whatever to, to work is R A and then that B O T, um, technically P A, but you know what I mean? And then stuff like, uh, I'm trying to think of an example right off. Um, uh, Anna is spelled O and then H, which makes the N sound, and then A. So it, it really, really helps out with that because there is a lot of really confusing things. And it, it has to do with stress, but if you don't know where the word is stressed, then that becomes an issue. Anyway, spent way too long on that. So that is kind of, uh, I, I do use Memrise. Um, Mango I have used, but not like I should. I've completed completed the first lesson of the first unit. Uh, I need to use it more, but it's... it's I don't know. Uh, I just find other things to be a little more useful with my time. Mango has taught me some useful phrases, or not useful phrases, but, well, I mean, I guess useful phrases for just general conversations. Uh, for example, I could say, uh, Vrosi uh, Jarka Letom. So it's like, in Russia, it's hot uh, in the summer, or in the summer it's hot in Russia, however you want to translate that. Um, and then they've also, so the other thing with Mango that I'm strangling is they introduce a lot of stuff word-wise that some words I do do really good memorizing by themselves separately. Days of the week are not those. I have to memorize days of the week as days of the week. Um, and so I do struggle with that because they've introduced stuff like, hey, I'll see you on Saturday, which is like, uh. What is it? Dostriche. Whatever Saturday is. This something. Uh, I don't know. Like, and it's from where I haven't learned. Like, I literally, basically one day I'm going to have to spend about 30 minutes, get all seven days of the week, and just read them, and read them, and read them, and then I'll, I'll know them. That's that's how I've learned days of the weeks for everything. I can't learn them out of sequence. It's just not something that I can do. Um, and then, which, um, Mango's also taught me some other stuff, such as, so as Jarka earlier, um, Holodna, which you could probably context, Holodna, cold, cold, it's cold. Um, like, ch freezing is something I can't remember it right off. It's like, um, I honestly can't remember it. So that's one that I need to review. And then, uh, so so it's been a couple of things. Um, other resources that I've used, I, I don't use like Duolingo or anything for Russian. Um, I, I, I kind of do. I'll go in there and just mess around for a little bit, and then I don't. Um... I don't really do flashcards except for 
Memorize. I use Memorize pretty regularly for the flashcards. I don't use an Anki deck because um, Russian's not something that I'm comfortable hearing the uh, computerized voice in, and that's why I don't really use Duolingo for it a lot. I use Duolingo mainly for Spanish, um, just because I'm fine with hearing the computerized voice, but Russian is so pronunciation heavy that like I don't feel it would be beneficial to me to hear a computer say or something like that, you know, in the, that computerized voice. So that's why I don't use that. Um, and, I, and and Pimsleur is the other thing uh, that I that I use regularly. And in that we're getting into, um, I've learned just a few different things, like how I, I don't remember if I talked about it in the last video or not, but uh, stuff like, uh, um, I, I'd like something to drink. Or you could say, I want something to drink. Or I could say, um, uh, what do you want to eat? Just stuff like that. And then recently I've gotten into a little bit of telling time. And that is honestly, arguably, probably my least favorite thing in language learning is learning to tell time. Um, I just, it, it's useful, but I hate it more than anything probably. Um, but that's kind of where I'm at in Pimsleur is they're teaching that. And then I, I have learned, I think I've learned, uh, uh, Adin, uh, uh, Dve, Dve, I can't remember what two is right off. So that, but that's like literally the lesson that I'm on and it usually takes me a time or two before I fully get that. So, um, other than that, I have been adding some vocabulary, but again, Russian is such a weird language. It's, uh, until you really know how to use the words, they're kind of useless uh, because of the case system. So, But I have learned a couple of things, and I actually found an app the other day called Ling Lingvist, I think it's called, that's like a flashcard system that uh, it's actually pretty cool that I've, I've been using it a lot. So, um, But yeah, I'm going to leave that here because this video is like almost eight minutes long. I just wanted to update you guys. We're still learning. It's just slow. Um, but that's kind of the way I honestly thought Russian would be. So I probably at this point know a hundred, a few hundred words maybe, but there's not really much that I can do with them. So, uh, but I, and, oh, and I have been using italki. I have a teacher on there, Oksana, um, which I'm in like this WhatsApp group that she does for her Russian students. And like, uh, so that's been getting me reading. I can't really, I don't know what it says. I can't pick out words here or there that I'll recognize, but, um, yeah, that's kind of it, man. Uh, just still currently grinding. So uh, I'm, I'll try to make updates and maybe do a little bit of speaking and stuff like that. But uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. So, uh, But yeah, I'm going to end that video here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Which if you're new to the channel, I doubt you watch till 8 minutes and 12 seconds. But uh, hey, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video.